The human body is made up of a total 206 bones in total. In this video, we will be talking about the bones of the upper limbs. Out of 206 total bones in humans, the upper limbs contain as many as 64 bones. Each side consists of 32 bones. Since the bones of the two upper limbs are similar, one needs to learn only 32 bones out of a total of 64 bones. Let's look at the names and positions of the bones that we will discuss in this video. The upper limb consists of the scapula, also called the shoulder blade, and the clavicle, also known as the collarbone. Then there's the arm, which only has one bone, called the humerus, it is the largest bone of the upper limb. Then we have the forearm, which has two bones called the radius and the ulna. Next, there's the wrist, which has eight carpal bones. And finally, the hand, which has five metacarpal bones, and the fingers, which have 14 phalanges in total. Some people say that learning anatomy is like learning another language. There are specific terminologies that are used universally in the subject of anatomy. Before talking about the bones, let's first talk about some anatomical terminologies that we will be using in this lecture. We will be using these words throughout the lecture, so keep in mind what they are synonymous with. To make things easier, anatomists standardize the way in which they view the body. If we take the example of a map, you may be able to understand it more easily. Just as maps are normally oriented with north at the top, the standard human body is oriented in a specific way known as anatomical position. In the diagram shown here, you can see the anatomical position is that of the body standing upright with the feet at shoulder width and parallel, toes forward. The upper limbs are held out to each side and the palms of the hands face forward. Keeping this position in mind, it is easier to understand the other directional terms. Anterior or ventral means in front of or frontal aspect. For example, the toes are anterior to the foot. Posterior or dorsal means behind or direction towards the back of the body. For example, the popliteus is posterior to the patella. Superior or cranial means towards the top of the head. Inferior or caudal means towards the feet. Lateral and medial. Lateral means away from the midsection of the body. For example, the thumb is lateral to the digits. Medial describes the middle or direction toward the middle of the body. The hallux or big toe is the medial toe. Proximal describes a position in a limb that is nearer to the point of attachment or the trunk of the body. The proximal end of the humerus forms the shoulder joint. Distal describes a position in a limb that is farther from the point of attachment or the trunk of the body. The distal end of the humerus forms the elbow joint. There are also terminologies that are specific to the bones. We will talk about them as we go through this lecture. For now, you can use this diagram to better remember these anatomical terminologies. The focus of our video will be on the bones of the upper limb and their distinct bony features. So stay tuned. Explore our extensive library of over 1,800 video lectures to learn about a wide range of topics only on scotia.com.